Hello, I'm Mark. I'm an average golfer. My handicap's about 20. I'm going to show you how to re-grip a club today. It's very easy. My grips were really old and worn and I just thought, how hard can it be? I've bought Lampkin grips online from an online golf store. These are mid-sized grips. They were £9.99 each, fairly mid-price. I'm not clever enough or know enough about it to know exactly which ones I need. I've also bought some grip tape. So I've bought one of these for each club that I'm going to re-grip. Uh, we'll come to more of that in a little while. And I've bought some grip tape solvent. So let's see how, how we go. Um, the only tool I've got is a Stanley knife. So I'm going to get the club here. This is one of my clubs. What is this one? This is an old six iron. They're, uh, they've got some quite old worn grips. And I'm going to just start with my Stanley knife and cut my old grip off. I'm doing this on top of an old ironing board because I've only got a, an antique diming table and I don't want to hurt that and damage it if I slip with the knife. But uh, so all I have to do here is, and it's good to do it on a surface like this, don't try and do it freehand because if you slip with the knife you're going to slip and you're going to go onto the surface and you're not going to go further and you're not going to hurt yourself. Safety tips. So I'm just pulling the grip off. It, particularly these grips, these are very old. So uh, the rubber has sort of got very, very hard. So there's a lot of sort of debris and bits of the rubber. As I, as I pull it, you get little bits of uh, rubber come off on the surface. So I've got a hoover standing by for later to uh, clear up all the debris. So there we are, that's, uh, that's most of the rubber grip off. And underneath you can see we've got grip tape. Now this you'd think with sort of adhesive and things and it's been there for a number of years it might be really hard to pull off but it's actually not that hard you just grab a corner of it pick it up and pull and it it generally comes off very well. And you can see how I'm just pulling it and it's sort of coming off and, and the Steel shaft underneath is pretty clean. A little bit more, get a bit more of it off. I'm going to get 99% of this off. If I don't get it all off, it's not, not the end of the world. Now, before today, I'd never done this. Um, so, you know, it, it's not that hard if you... If you watch what I've done, I've done a couple of clubs already as a bit of, bit of practice. And don't be, don't be afraid, have a go and just get the knife in there and pull all the old tape off because we don't need the old tape. I have seen some YouTube videos, which is where I learned to do this, where they leave the old tape on. I'm not so sure why, but some some people have done it. So I suppose if you don't want to get all your tape off, you could uh, you could leave your tape the old tape on. But I think I'm just going to do a proper job and get it get it get it all off. And here we go. Not too far to get a little bit more done. It's fiddly, but it doesn't take very long. I'm not putting in any edits in this video. So what you're seeing here is real time to do a club. Shows you how quick and easy it is. Your pro might be a bit upset with you that you do this yourself rather than taking your clubs to him. But it's really satisfying to do it yourself. It's, it, I mean, I've always been into DIY. So when you do something yourself and you've achieved it, it's it's fantastic. It's really, really, really satisfying. So there we are. We've got the majority of that off. Uh, there's a little bit that doesn't want to come off easily. Now, I could get some sort of solvent on there probably and get that adhesive off, but I'm, I'm not bothering because my concern 
is that if I put solvent on there, it might stop the grip tape from sticking when I put the new grip tape on. And I don't want that. I want the grip tape to stick to the club. Now, we'll show you what the solvent's for in a minute, but uh, it's it's quite 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 useful because uh, it makes getting the new grip on. I mean, my 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 thought about this, you know, being a bit of a scientist, I suppose I did sciences at school. Uh, was that the the grips would be hard to put on, and you might need to get some some sort of uh, heat in them. It's just I didn't know, but that's what I thought, uh, and it's not the case. So we've got that off. We can see mostly clean. Little bit of sticky residue on there, but that's not no no bother with that. Now I bought. You can buy this in rolls, or I just bought them in the two end. Uh, the two inch strips cut to length. I put all the backing tape off and I want to just put that on, or oh, let me let me show it so you can see, see where I'm going. I just want to put that on top of the club. So I'm just going to lay it on there like that. I've just over done the end a little bit and I'll show you why in a minute. And then all we have to do is to wrap that round the shaft. So I've got it nearly all the way round. One side I'm pushing down hard, the other side I haven't pushed down yet. Uh, and that's because there's an outer layer on this uh, tape and I need to pull that off as well. So if I pull the outer layer, having taken the backing off, I'm now pulling the outer layer off. And then I should go back and I shall push that down on one side. It's a little bit tacky. And then on the other side, I'll just overlap it, put it down, it's all done. And then at the top, the reason why I did that was there's a hole in the top of your grip when you put it on. And if you just fold that down in there, that creates a barrier so that you don't get any uh, dust and dirt and whatever into your grip or into inside the shaft of your club. Now, the next thing is we've got this on here. It's a bit tacky. Now, as I say, the grip solvent I came came in a little spray bottle. So, I'll just put a little uh, plastic container underneath there and so that it doesn't spray everywhere. Uh, and, and I spray the grip. And now my grip is, oh, it's just, it's just so sort of slippery. Now, I take my new grip. There's the hole in the bottom. I just put my finger over the hole and I'm just gonna spray in, into there a little bit of solvent. Let it run around a little bit. If there's any sort of bit in there, it's not coming out, but if it was, I'd just try and empty it out there. Next thing we do is we just simply put the grip on and it just simply slides on. That's all there is to it. Now, it's uh, I'll take the little uh, manufacturer's uh, stick uh, plastic off here that's what it that's what that's the word I was looking for plastic we'll just take that off which has got the barcode on so that I suppose that's what they they use for all the automatic tool systems to sell it get 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 that off but the uh, we're done well nearly I'll just sort of tap it on the floor to make sure it's fully home and then the other thing I need to do is just to make sure it's aligned and it isn't but because it's got all that solvent on there, it's just very easy at the moment just to twist it. And it's now aligned nicely. I want the maker's name sort of be right in front of me when I hold the club correctly. And it's done. And I presume you can sort of keep moving the club, move, moving the, um, the grip around for a little while until the solvent dries. I don't quite know how long that is. Well, I suppose if I left that for about 20 minutes, it would probably be, be done. That's all there is to it. Have fun. Enjoy your golf. Bye-bye.